Hello guys, in this tutorial we're gonna quickly go through some best tips about searching in Slack. So let's just dive into it. So basically you can just start searching Slack super easily. For this you can just go to like your search here and then just type anything like whatever I just searched for this one and then you will see like messages files channels people it is a new feature and then you can filter out by people you can filter out by channels you can filter out by date and also more options you can only search my channels and you can hide apps and bots so that's like super fast you can open also search fields uh, via shortcut using command G or control G on Windows. Also, you can start a search from the message field using slash S uh, slash command. So let's try it out. So when I just go to my Slack, I will just type slash S and then something like this and I will go to my search. Also, there are plenty of search modifiers. Here are many of them. So, for example, you can search for info by, uh, shared by someone. So, for example, from Sarah. Or you can search in specific conversation or channel. So, let's try it out. So, I want to search in general something like this. And I can't find it because the message was posted in the random channel and now I can find it. So that's basically all these filters right here, but you can just use them more easily with these modifiers. You can also use a modifier for searching by date. You can uh, also search for specific emoji reaction here. And also you can search for something that's pinned, start or has a link. So using search, you can also filter out uh, mess pinned messages, for example. So has pin, and you will see pinned uh, items in your Slack. So that's also super handy. Uh, so there are also like filtering options I just showed you, but also uh, you can choose between most recent messages and most relevant. So that's how you decide. Yeah, so you can change them here. Also, when I'm searching for files, so I just search for this one, I can see all the files here and I can still download this file. Even if I uploaded it a long time ago, I can still share it. I can yeah, copy link to the file or just view details and stuff like this. Yep. You can also search for people. It's like a new tab in Slack. Yeah, and also there's these additional search tips from Slack. Uh, you can use quotation marks to see a specific word or phrase. Uh, you can see uh, use an asterisk to see results that begin with those specific letters. For example, this one will show results for reply or report. You can add a dash in front of specific word to see the search result without that word. Uh, fuzzy search isn't supported, so like misspelled words won't return the corrected spelled alternative. So the stuff when you just like misspell some words in Google, it will still search for the right suggestions, but will tell you that you made a mistake that doesn't work in Slack. And these are the shortcuts. So basically this is super simple, I guess, guide to search in Slack. And I would really recommend you to use it more. Yeah, please subscribe to this channel for additional videos about everyday software and tips how to organize your life and with software and yeah please subscribe to the channel thanks for watching